Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today is the day. No more procrastination, no more excuses. We gotta get the GTO fixed and back on the road. Just in case you missed it, hear that roaring noise? Like there it went away. If I make a right hand, a left hand turn, I hope that's not the right wheel bearing. I mean, I have two wheel bearings, but I really don't want to do both of them. When I did the bearing on the left side the driver's side I didn't mess it up but I do have to put the clip in there see it gets quiet when I turn that's the wheel bearing see if I go left right if I turn left it gets quiet oh my god that's horrible Actually, the car's got a vibration to it. Ooh. Man, I tell you, I gotta do the brakes on this, or I gotta bleed them because they're like they're dropping pretty bad. Alright, so last time I did this job, we had to half-ass it with what tools I had. This time I have the real deal tools for doing the job. Um, the only problem is, according to the manual, you're supposed to remove the whole lower control arm. You can't get the control arm out unless you drop the whole rear subframe. Maybe it does sound like that big a deal. It is a little extra work, but it's not that hard to actually drop the subframe. The problem in lies that there is a alignment tool that you need to have to reinstall the subframe. And that's nothing I'm going to try to mess around with, trying to line it up where the old bolts were. Uh, it's, it's like $400 or maybe $600, something like that, for this cradle that goes up there that aligns the rear subframe when you bolt it back up so I can get most of this in this time this tool will actually push the bearing in and it should go in nice and straight the only thing I don't have is anything to drive the spindle back into the bearing so it's just gonna kinda be brute force but I remember last time I was able to get it in enough to where I got the nut on there and just used the impact tighten the nut and pull the spindle through I think where I damaged the bearing was trying to hammer it into the hole so I think we're we got it this time so fingers crossed let's let's give this a shot oh and I was gonna do this as a whole like tutorial video on how to do this but you know that just it takes so long when you get to stop and film everything so I'm not gonna do that I know my car guys are out there and they still support me so I want to give you guys some car content so check it out the old GTO's up in the air Ugh. all right I'll check in with you in a little bit oh look at this that's not supposed to be like loose like that so Something went wrong. <laughs> I knew I felt this car wobbling around. Oh, I should never have drove it. But that's what I found so far. I'm really getting tired of working on cars. So, you got the axle that goes through and it's splined, and then there's a cup on the other end 
And the cup has all the holes that bolts to the axle. I cannot get that thing to pop off and now my tool broke. Uh, I was having problems, it was tight, so I figured I put a little tension on it, I sprayed some PV blaster on it and I walked away and came out. And that's laying there. And this piece is laying there. That's the same tool that took that piece off last time. Now I tried using the uh, factory tool and I, I was standing on the wrench and it wouldn't budge. It wouldn't turn at all. <sighs> I don't get it. I don't know what the hell happened that that thing is so stuck on there. But... Guess I'll try a harmonic balancer puller. Try to bolt it on there and see if we can't yank this thing off. One way or another. Jeez. So this has just turned into a way bigger job than I'm prepared to handle today. So I might just have to look at getting a new control arm, which is going to mean having to drop the whole subframe. Or I might get away with dropping half the subframe. You can see, like these bolts right here, you can't get them out because there's the frame. Uh, so you have to drop the subframe down in order to get enough room to get the bolts out. Um, there's another bolt back that way. So this is a big, big A arm. I'm probably gonna end up having just to go that route. Sorry, I'm trying to turn on the front screen of the GoPro, and no matter how many times I tap the back screen, it doesn't want to wake up. Um, I'm trying to make sure my lighting's good. I have the background back there, but I cannot get this dang thing, man. So I guess I'm just gonna have to put it together and just put it back. Like I said, I guess maybe I'll just have to look at getting a an A arm from a salvage yard and. Uh, Revisiting this thing because I cannot get that. I can't get it to pop apart. I don't know what what's holding it, man. It's baffling. But probably the way that thing is loose, something probably went in there and bent and tweaked. And unless I buy a new spindle and I have it on hand, I'm not going to go in there and try to punch that through either to separate it. So I even put a puller on there to try to pull that thing off instead of using the factory tool and I broke the damn jaw on the puller so hopefully I can find a uh, Lowe's that has that Craftsman, has that puller set and I can warranty it oh my god man it's unreal man it's fine. I'm just getting tired of cars I love having them but when they something happens it's oh. sorry guys I really want to have an update for you in this beauty but Oh my god, I really want to get this car on the road. I really do. Because I'm going to have to look again at AR. I don't know what else to do. Yeah, I love this car. I think I'm just going to. I might even just bite the bullet and get a mechanic to fix this. I want this car back on the road. 15,000. I don't remember putting that many on here. 15,000 miles. So I either need a mechanic that's like really, really good, or I'm going to try to find somebody that specializes in the Australian cars. The GTO, the G8. Man, this freaking brake is dropping. Uh... And the SS. They're all Holdens. I imagine there's got to be some place that only works on those. Well, sorry I didn't have a better outcome. I really wanted to get the GTO out and driving. I know a lot of a lot of my car people still around wanted to see the same thing too, but we will get the car fixed. I just kind of have to like weigh my options right now. I'm kind of afraid that when I put that spindle in and then I put that drive cup in there, Maybe the spindles didn't, or the splines didn't line up. Because I, I barely got, I got it on there, and then I used the nut. And just used the impact and drove them together. So maybe something just didn't 
uh, mesh, maybe the splines were offset and I screwed them up. So even if I can drive that axle out, I'm afraid that that cup piece is destroyed. And then I did find out, I went to Rock Auto, I can't even buy that axle anymore. And I had, I thought I kept the old one. I thought the old one was still laying around here because that thing was over $300 a couple of years ago. And the only thing, I messed up the threads hammering it out. And I thought I kept it. So that way, if I ever had to do this again, I could just possibly run a die on there and redo the threads. But I can't find it. And I hate to think I threw that thing out. I hope I didn't. Um, but hey, I can't buy the axle anymore. I can't find one. And then that piece on the back, the best thing I say, it just looks like a cup. It has the splines in the middle and it cups out and that's where the CV axle bolts into. I definitely can't buy one of those, so I think my only option is to just buy an A-arm, complete A-arm off of um, eBay or something like that. And hopefully it's not a damaged A-arm. But I, only, I found one person selling a spindle and that cup, but they want as much for that as a whole A-arm, so I don't think that's worth it. And then, it's like I said, what if I can't even get that piece out of that A-arm at all? So I think, like I said, my best bet is get an A-arm, take it to a machine shop, have them insert a new bearing. There's no point putting an A-arm in with some old unknown bearing. Because uh, I had the bearing, so I may as well just go ahead and put it in having the work done so I think that's the route I'm gonna go because I, I want I need to get this car on the road I want to drive it I miss having that thing available so and you know I do appreciate all my car guys still hanging in there for me I know maybe the Appalachian Trail and some of the stuff's not like your thing so I appreciate you guys still hanging hanging in there um, you know but like I said before I'm not really gonna do much too much car content I have the cars and there'll be a little bit and then when we travel, I'll definitely going to be finding some car stuff to go check out. So, you know, I'm still always going to be a car guy. So don't worry. But, uh, yeah, I, I need to get this Appalachian thing out of my system. If I don't do it now, I never will. I'm not getting any younger. <laughs> so thank you, everyone, for uh, hanging in there. I hope you guys like the uh, retro intro there in the beginning. Did you, appreciate, did you like that? Brought that back for you because I'm doing car stuff. Yeah, and then I still got to get the 50th running. Um, I think I'm just going to get that engine rebuilt. Uh, I even talked with Smitty a little bit, and the LT1s can be problematic with the active fuel management with lifters collapsing. So if you're going to spend, it's like ten grand just for the motor and probably another three, 000, four thousand to have it installed. So if you're going to spend that kind of money and then what, you're going to have a lifter collapse, so I think I'd rather just rebuild that motor and just do away with that whole system. Just put like a nice cam in there, nothing crazy like what's in Project Z28 that's right here. Uh, nothing crazy, just a good streetable cam, but something that maybe give that engine a little more power and sound nice. So that will be coming up um, this year. The cruise will be paid for and the SS. I'll get title in hand, and that's a lot of money in car payments that. They'll free up, and that'll help me tremendously. Plus, like I said, I need to sell Project Z28 and probably take that Pro Charger off the Camaro. I sell it as well, and that should give me the money to do the motor in the other car. It's like never ending, never ending. And I got, I got to do a headliner in SS. <laughs> I think what happened is that car was on that uh, stop sale. They did a stop sale on the SSs for a while because of a seatbelt recall. That's why I got a really good deal on it. If you guys remember, I bought that car at the end of 2016. And it's a 2015 model. So it sat in the dealer parking lot for over a year, just parked in the back, closed up. I don't even think they were allowed to drive it. So I think a year, a year or more sitting in the sun, cooking, probably really dried out the headliner. I don't think it was probably from it sitting back there because... None of my other cars have had any problem sitting back there. So I think that's what did it. So yeah, we'll get that fixed as well. But at least that car is drivable. <laughs> All right. Thank you, uh, my longtime viewers, you, my car people, uh, for hanging in there watching this stuff. You know, we will get to traveling. I just got to get this Appalachian Trail out of my system you know i'm not getting any younger and it's just something i want to do you know the channel's always been about my life and right now 
my life interest is kind of hiking although i'm trying to get the cars working <laughs> you know they're finicky beasts so is what it is but we'll, i'll get it I, i'm probably just going to get the ar and we'll get the gto running and then i gotta get the headliner out of the ss i might do that before long before i head out in the at the, the camaro the 50 that's going to take a while because that's going to be a lot of money <laughs> so but i will get that one back on the road as well so we'll get all the cars running so all right so if you're a new subscriber you join for the at stuff and you're in the cars and you're joining man thank you i hope you enjoy some of the car stuff and uh, like i said my long term my car people hope you enjoy the car stuff and the little retro intro so all right thanks for watching and hopefully we'll see you on the next one